if you're watching right now, if you don't mind just bowing your heads with me and praying, I would appreciate it. Dear loving Father in heaven, as I leave this boat, I'm putting it in your hands. Lord, it's always in your hands. I mean, I want it to be. It's your boat. It's, it's a vessel that I pray that will be used continually. I pray and I just trust that you've used it in the past. Lord, I feel unworthy, I'm a frail human, faulty human, but Lord, I'm so in awe over the fact that you've somehow used me. I, it's almost unbelievable. People have come to a deeper relationship with you through my efforts, my example, and I know that I haven't been all that I should be, but I ask, Lord, that you would help me continue to grow and to be like you. Please, this isn't uh, an acting. This is a real thing that we need to be examples of your character. So, Lord, I, I just I surrender my will and this, this vessel here, vessel hope, as we call it, Lord, you know you're the only hope, and we know that. There's no hope in this world or the things of this world. You give us hope in what you've done for us on the cross and what you're preparing for us in heaven. I'm going to leave this boat open. And as people come here, Lord, I pray that you would touch their hearts and bless them. They would come to know you, that the Holy Spirit would be in this boat, and that the people around it, the the people who live a lifestyle that brings sadness, the alcohol, the drugs, all of those things, Lord, you love those people. They're your children. And Lord, I don't criticize them in any way. I love them. I want to be there for them. Lord, I pray that you would be with Deborah, the harbor master, and Gina that they would see you in me, that they would would have a desire to understand and know you more because of this boat mission and ministry. Lord, this is your vessel. Please take care of it. I beg you. I beg you with all my heart. I have given up my mother's time with her during her last years and my baby growing. Lord, please help the seeds that I've planted to grow with the thousands of people that I've taken out on the water for free. You know the seeds I tried to plant. It wasn't much, just a prayer, a smile. Please, Lord, even in my imperfection, please help those seeds to grow. And if it's your will, help us to get this boat to the mission field. This is a mission field, but I promised Filipinos I would come back. Now I'm just thinking about it. It's going to be, I'm be coming in right there where General MacArthur came in, and he promised to come back. Help, Lord, us to get this down to the Marshall Islands, to Gilbert's, to Micronesia, and that you would touch the hearts of whoever it is to help make this possible. In Jesus' name, amen. Sorry, guys, it's a bit emotional, but I I just think it's important to be real in life and, and not, not fake. There's a lot of fake people out there. And I'll tell you one thing. That's one thing I don't want to be is fake in my walk with the Lord. I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner, but I am willing to risk my life. I watched something earlier about a, a boat that disappeared just vanished just like my dear brother Daniel Louis who we're still searching for and his parents are over there plowing talking to his mom and you know there's people out there that are willing to risk their life to share the gospel we don't have money we work for free and there's people that 
make these things happen. I just thank uh, Dr. Bob for this boat. Thank you very much. Michi, for Thomas for helping watch it and for all those that have helped pay this exorbitant $500 a month slip fee, which is very difficult to come up with when you don't have a job. I've let my teeth go. I need to go now. I haven't seen my, my mom and it's been I haven't been home. I missed Thanksgiving, Christmas. My um, child's birthday, two-year-old, two years old birthday. I mean, I've sacrificed a lot, but it's been a blessing. I've tried so hard to find a place to live here on this island for my mother, but people don't want a child, a two-year-old, the terrible twos. They don't want someone who's old. Um, but Jesus says, what you do for the least of these, you do for me. So I'm just praying that maybe, you know, in the future, I know God has a plenty of places. I'm never asking for anything free. I just want to be able to pay rent, work, do a lot of things. I have a lot of talents, work hard and get this boat ready, but have my family with me here in Honolulu. That hasn't been possible nobody would accept us so just pray for us in this mission and this ministry and thank you so much guys mahalo bye bye